Here's another testimony of what God is doing in the lives of men and women who are trusting Him for marriage restoration. And this is Beatrice, and she used to be one of our secretaries. She used to be our secretary many, 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 many years ago when we started, and Bob worked with her, and we just love her to death, and we love her children. Hi, everybody. My name is Beatrice. I've been standing a long time. Anyhow, as the enemy always come, take one thing at a time. You know, uh, after my divorce, several years later, uh, one of my children left home. And he was 17, and it's been six years that I have not even seen or talked to him at all. And this year, the 4th of July, I just felt a little stare. I went home, and I stayed there. You know, I, every holiday I'm home waiting, every holiday. So on the fifth, I went to work, and I got there, and I said, today is the day of liberty and freedom. I came home that day, and it was a Thursday, the only day that I don't have anything to do after work. So I just went out shopping, window shopping. And my brother called me and he says, uh, are you home? And I says, no, why, do you need the car? And he says, yeah. So I say, I'll be there home, quickly. I got home and he has told me over the phone that my older son was feeling very sick, that he was gonna go home. He lived with his daddy. All my, my two boys live with daddy. So I got home. And I see this man sitting at the table, and he turned around and he looked at me, and I thought in my head, it's my older son, because he's the only one that I have seen very often. And I said in my mind, my, he must feel very sick because he doesn't look himself. <laughs> you know, so I'm looking at him, still wondering you know, how bad he feels because he doesn't look like himself. <laughs> so my sister-in-law got up and he says, look what I got for you, it's your son, Pierre. And he's the out of the house for six years. So we just hug and kiss and you know, we you know, cry and he was telling me he was sorry for being so far away for so long. You know, and we talked for a while and he was very nervous because I don't know the reasons yet, I don't want to go there. So we sat down after dinner and, you know, we look at some things on my telephone. He was trying to teach me how to work my new phone. So I said, I have something for you. So I went into my closet and I dig up every single present that I have saved for every Christmas that we didn't spend together. You know, so he was all excited, you know. I spent several months needing a blanket for his bed, you know, a queen size blanket, you know. So he was like, you did that? And he goes, yes, papi. And he never saw me kneading or crocheting or anything. So he was like shocked. And in, I gave him a book that I made up, spent a couple of months also trying to put the pictures together so it looked like a book, you know. So he was all excited and then he showed me the card, he got a new card. First time in his life and all this. So we spent some time together and we've been talking back and forth. We haven't seen each other again, but we have been talking over the phone and texting, you know. So it's not just the marriage. The Lord has told me in 2010, Jeremiah 31, 17. And so I just read it a couple of times and left it away. And then this year in January the 1st, the Lord told me again, Jeremiah 31, 17. So I put it on a little card, and I put it on my bathroom mirror. I put it on my bedroom mirror. I put it on my refrigerator mirror. And every time I go around, I read it, and it says, there is hope in my future, says the Lord, that my children shall come back to their own border. Amen. And I'm standing here in front of you to tell you that God fulfilled his promises. Amen. Praise the Lord. You've been listening to Charlene Steinkamp. You can write the Steinkamps at P.O. Box 10548, Papano Beach, Florida, 33061. The Steinkamps also invite you to visit their website at rejoiceministries.org.